Hey guys, and welcome back to Toy Commander. When we last left off, we completed the kitchen and the dining room, and we kicked uh, Cyclone right in the visor, completely destroyed him. No worries there. Now it's time to move on to the children's bedrooms, and I think I'm probably going to do this room by room, one room a video. Uh, I appreciate the videos might not be very long, but at the moment with limited time, that works for me. Anyway, you can see I've already had a practice run. Um, I thought I'm a little bit rusty at this game, so I'll get some practice in. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's it. yeah. let's just say that that muscle memory's come right back. So, anyway, so Hunt and Seek. This is a weird mission. It's actually quite fun, but it's randomized. Anyway, it's almost my time and I'm feeling fine. This town is surrounded and soon will be mine. Seek high and low to knock out all of Roly Poly's accomplices. You can't miss them. They're dressed in red, but don't harm any innocent people or you'll return to square one. You have a huge amount of time here, 4 minutes 22, and sometimes you do need that. Interesting fact about Roly Poly, uh, in some areas he was actually called Ringo. Uh, some of the character names have been changed. This is actually a French company that made this game and they are sadly no longer with us. They did release a online racing game called Toy Racer, uh, which used all the same um, character models and whatnot from this game. But it was released as an online only game, like I said, for £5 back in the day. And that was pretty crazy. But sadly, this company bet on the wrong horse there was actually a pc version uh panned for this or planned for this game it wasn't panned for this game uh but it never happened sadly uh, i would like to see this come back but you know what running it on this emulator it looks crispy and fantastic and this emulator uh, for the uh premium version of it only costs five dollars so what's that like four pounds if that three pounds something uh absolutely worth it anyway let's go Oof. This town's not big enough for all of us. I can tell you that much. Right, so we've got all these red guys. We need to find them and kill them. Uh, the enemy layout is randomized, as I said, which is where the challenge for this level actually comes in, if you ask me. Because finding all these guys can be fairly difficult. Uh, oh, hello. Now, missiles are limited on this mission as well. You can pick up missile packs but they only give you one which uh that's not many <laughs> one is is not great to be honest but that's okay we'll make it we always make it because that's what we do now let's go check this place out see if we can get a good vantage up here Woo! slow down there jesus luckily this vehicle like all of your vehicles actually self-right hello got him there Sometimes there's one on the crane. Doesn't look like there's one on the crane this time, though. And you do need to check high. They can be high. Ah, hey, friend. You're done. Oh, there's one behind us, apparently. One behind us somewhere. Apparently. Where are you? You sneaky little bastard. We've got a ball up there, but I don't think he's going to be anywhere near that. I don't really have to worry about fuel. Now, if you run out of fuel in this game... Ah, hello, spiderweb, right at the top. Uh, it, it's kind of a bad thing, but you don't actually uh, stop moving. You just move at an incredibly slow pace. So it's not necessarily a game over when that happens, but you, you, yeah, yeah, you're not going to be breaking any records. Okay, let's... Oh, hello, saw one dude behind there. Now, there are some random elements on quite a lot of the levels, actually, which adds a bit of uh, replayability to it, but this game isn't exactly, uh, you know, there's no multiple choice endings or anything like that. Uh, you know, obvious, shouldn't have to point these things out, but you never know. There's a lot of people that uh, wouldn't have even heard of this game, you know? It's not exactly uh, well-remembered. Well, I mean, I think it's well-remembered by a few. 
but even back in the day there was loads of people that I knew that had a Dreamcast that never even heard of this game. It was a launch game and there was actually a Christmas edition of this which um, I think we did one Christmas actually. Uh, they brought out a few Christmas themed levels on a demo disc which was kind of like DLC in a way but obviously you didn't actually need the uh, OG game to play it. Uh, I think they brought out two of these uh, quote DLC packs which was cool it was fun you know back when gaming was really was focused on you know just having a good fun time I think we've missed well, we've lost a lot of that these days games are so commercial so big you know they're all trying to outdo each other and it's just rather chaotic these days all these companies are just trying to outfuck you, basically. Ah, hello. There's a guy in the jail. That can happen sometimes. I think that's the last one. Come on. There we go. We got him. That got a bit tense there for a minute. Not bad. I actually beat my time uh, that I got when I was practicing, too. You didn't do bad, I have to admit, but I dare you to challenge my humorous wit. Piss off. Now, Grand Prix. This one is somewhat challenging, as you can see when I uh, had a test run. I only beat it by 0.2 of a second. Four laps to go and you mustn't go slow. This is a fact that you surely must know. Again, try to finish in the top three. Yeah, but we need to get first. Not only get first, we need to get first by a significant margin. Now, there is a bit of a tactic for this one. Uh, what we actually need to do, there's a fuel pickup, and we need to get that on the third level. If you get it too early, you don't have enough fuel to complete the race. If you get it too late, you run out of fuel and you're hosed. Now, you need to brake a lot. And you also have to be damn near perfect on this race. The races in this game are... Well, you know, I wouldn't say they're they're hard exactly, but they're more challenging than most of the levels. Let's just say that, just because the times can be pretty tight. But that's okay. There's lots of boosts and stuff around as well, but more often than not, they'll just get you in trouble. Yeah, that that was not exactly fantastic, but that's okay. Just keep gunning it, gunning it, gunning it. Try not to let off the throttle if we can help it. That's fine. We'll go around the outside. That'll work. Such a cool track. The music in this game is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Although most of that is probably my nostalgia glasses. Yeah, I'm not saying the soundtrack's going to win any awards or anything like that, but it's pretty bloody good. It's There's the fuel pickup. We need that. It definitely uh, fits the atmosphere they were going for. I think it is absolutely a product of its time. Right, one more lap, and I think we've just screwed the pooch there. Just concentrate. This game, well, some of these races do require an awful lot of concentration. Oh, skirt right around the outer edge there. Yeah, not doing brilliantly. Ah, uh, got hit by the sheep. I'll be amazed if we, yeah, we, we flumped that one. But at least we get to see what he says when you don't ace the level. Good work. You've turned out to be a pretty good speedster after all. Yeah, but that's not good enough. We need to ace it. Probably going to be quiet here because this does require a lot of concentration. At least for my old brain, anyway. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no. Restarting the levels as well is pretty quick. That's one thing that I think a lot of games get wrong. You know, if you need to restart often. And you can do in this. Uh, you, want to, you want it to be quick and snappy. You want to get back into it uh, really fast. You don't want to be sitting there waiting, looking at loading screens. That's one thing that the old GTA games really suffered with, which I'm hoping they're going to fix for the new remasters. 
but we shall see how good that is. Visually, those new remasters look fantastic. They really do. I'm just waiting now to decide what version I want to get. I'm leaning towards Switch or Xbox. I don't like the idea that the PC version isn't on Steam. Steam or Microsoft Store, please. I don't really like... I mean, I like the Epic Games launcher. It's alright. It is what it is. But... I don't want 70... Ah, oh, fuck you. 70,000 different launchers on my computer. Even though I do have the Epic Game Launcher. Alright, okay, not bad. We're going to need that fuel. There we go. Yeah, because you do not have enough fuel to make it around this track without running out. Little Bo Peep sheep totally fucked us over there. That's okay. That'll work. Slide it in there. That's what she said. So I'm told. Oh, God. Yep, that's bad. And I will say, it's definitely better with the uh, Xbox controller. Without a doubt, it's better with the Xbox controller. Oh, man, look at that. We fucking schooled it. Whew. Absolutely schooled it that time. Is that a good five odd seconds nearly? You've beaten my score, but I must say face. It was only dumb luck that won you this race. Now, desertation. I like this level. What's going on? Your soldiers are gone. It sounds like desertation. What is wrong? There are six soldiers missing. Find them quickly and bring them back to the fortress. Keep in mind that they might not all be at ground level. Yeah, this level fake this fakes you out. There's six soldiers. We could only hold five of them at once in our truck. So, we want to go get the boys furthest away. Now, there's one right there at the start. But we're going to leave him. If we pick him up, you're boned. You've, you've kind of blown the time. So, we're going to leave him for last. Now, this is kind of jank. There is actually a physics system in this game. And it's, well, it is what it is, you know. It's an early physics system. Oh, God. Can't believe I actually managed that there. And it isn't perfect. But it worked. And I think it did give this game that extra little bit of magic. The way uh, objects interact with each other. And that's carried over to the way vehicles move as well. It's very cool. Anyway, let's keep going. I love that Sonic calendar there. 1999. What a year for gaming. PS2 was right around the corner. Um, we had... Hey, friend. We had uh, the Xbox as well. Not that we knew about the Xbox. There was a lot of rumblings at the time about the Xbox. But we didn't really know much at that point. Okay, there we go. That'll work. Jank, but it'll work. Ah, oh, you dickbag. Come on. Get in. You can see the physics there of the soldiers just being like knocks around. Uh, I am a little bit concerned about our time now. I'm not going to lie. Right, let's slam that guy in there. Get in, dude. Get these grenadiers in and ready to go. Alright, not bad. So we've got a lot of our dudes now, but there's still three left. Have you? Don't know who that chap is. Probably one of the developers. That would be my guess. Games used to do that quite a lot. And there is our second to last guy. So let's just drop straight down. Ow, that hurts. Not me, obviously, but it probably hurts the dudes inside. But then they shouldn't have deserted, should they? It would have been great to see a Toy Commander 2. But sadly, it was just not to be. Such is life. Alright, come on dude. Let's get you home. You've had enough doing whatever the hell you've been doing. 
I better not have been a brothel you've sneaked off to, you bastard. Okay. Uh, there's no collectibles or anything like that in this game. Then, that was quite uncommon at the time. Okay. Not bad. I'll take it. Although you may have my record axed, there's more to do. Don't get relaxed. Mm-hmm. Bombs away. This is a fun one. Firecracker, firecracker, a light in your room. See them all sparkle, then see them go boom. Stock up on water bombs and then drop them on the firecrackers that roly-poly has spread around your room before they explode. Yeah, this one is a little jank. It can be hard to actually get the bombs where you want them to be. Even though quite blatantly hit the mark sometimes, it doesn't count, so... Let's start going. Right, first one. You're done, son. I like the way all these toys are just standing around, watching this bomb igniting and, like, you know. You would have thought there would be some amount of panic involved. I mean, I think there is a little bit of panic involved, looking at that guy's face. See, they've got the Riptar there. See, that one didn't go off. That one did. Got Riptar there, we'll be seeing him soon. Can't actually remember what they call him in this game. There we go. Done. As you can see, a lot of these levels are just so short. Wow, schooled it. How are you doing this? Is it something you're eating? I'm starting to think you're winning by cheating. Yeah, I don't need to cheat, dude. Chuck a mark, that's his name. Chuck. Meet my pal Chuck. He's run amok. Stay out of his way or you'll run out of luck. Show no mercy. Get rid of Chuck before he manages to destroy the whole town. Yeah, I think we can do that. This is one of those levels that for some reason uh, I did actually struggle on back in the day if memory serves. And I couldn't tell you for the life of me why it's not a hard level at all. Uh, you get everything you need here to do some serious damage to our pal Chuck. Now, one thing to note as well, as he's destroying the environment, he is dropping power-ups for us too. So, that always helps. Now we're going to use our mortar here. The mortar actually doesn't have a huge amount of use in this game. But... You know, it's one of those things. It's there. Right. So we've given him a good load anyway. So let's switch over to our helicopter, which has a fresh set of weapons. Also, our helicopter can grab this. Power up for our missiles. There we go. Another power up for missiles there. Shame we don't have any more missiles. But that's okay. We'll just shoot the shit out of his back. That's fine. This'll work. Whittle him down piece by piece. There we go. <laughs> Get out of here, you doofus. I think we actually made it. Yeah, really good time there. Yeah, almost 50 seconds. Oh, 40 seconds quicker. You've made poor Chuck boring and tame. I hope you realise that's really lame. Yeah, blow it out your ass, roly poly. Anyway, sad Princess Clara. Sad Princess Clara. Sweet Princess Clara, that brave little dame, watches my companions set her aflame. Come to the aid of poor doll, uh, before of the poor doll, before roly poly's henchmen reduce her to ashes. Your truck is no match for those tanks and their reinforcements. Try hitting them from a distance also distracted with Clara's house. Yeah, this one could be challenging if you're not really sure what's going on. But this is all we have to fight with. And it ain't much, let me tell you. But luckily, there's a lot of these dudes here. Now, power-ups, as we've mentioned before, are randomized. We had a really bad bout of luck there. But that's okay. That's Toy Commander for you. Oh, we got an upgrade there for our guns. We shall have those. Hey, Clara, how's it going? Doesn't look great, I'll be honest. 
Uh, we've got some fuel. Come on, dude. Give us some weapons. Give us some weapons. He gave us nothing. That's not great. So, what do we do without weapons? Well, we have to rely on our machine guns. And our machine guns are not fantastic. That's okay. We're just going to stay back. And hopefully, these guys will drop us some good stuff. There we go. You're gone. Ah, oh, that's a machine gun upgrade there. We'll have that. Definitely have a machine gun upgrade. Now, one of the things that really screws you over on this level is they can actually destroy Clara's house before you actually have a chance. Ah, uh, there's actually missiles over there to actually uh, take them all out and, in fact, destroy her crazy fast. But, uh, we're getting shot at. That's okay. That's okay. Come on. Now, we can actually spam the fire button to fire a little bit quicker, which is also quite nice. But this level basically comes down to luck on power-ups, really. Oh, I actually beat my time by about half a second. I'll take it. Grow up, boy. Just because you've saved her doesn't mean she'll let you date her. Uh, yeah, I wasn't really planning on it, but sure. Right, roly-poly. So finally we meet. It will be such a treat. In For in no time, you'll be admitting defeat. We shall see about that, my friend. Yeah, I can't remember why they changed the names for some of the characters, but... It is what it is. Uh, I think the texture work on these characters still looks really nice. Now luckily, we have the same 99 missiles that we had in the last boss fight. So, it's all good there, Chief. Yeah, he really is a bit of a joke. <laughs> like, come on. There we go. And that is that i guess roly-poly wasn't as faithful as he proclaimed it seems that he had switched sides little good it will do him as i will be victorious in the end and you and don't you forget that my power hungry friend aha uh -huh. anyway that's the next one done so when we come back guys we're going to be moving on to the hallway in mezzanine so not Nothing too difficult so far, but this game does kick it up a notch. It really does. Uh, the challenge does certainly increase. It never gets ridiculous, but it definitely gets a little bit harder. But hopefully with this uh, control pad, well, maybe. Maybe I'll, I'll fare a little bit better. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, until next time.